<laughs> oh, Jesus, talking about freaking steroids and bull crap. What's up, guys? <laughs> so what about it? Hey, there you go. So, huh? Steroids. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? Jeez. What other what question? Your first championship fight, a little bit of that your previous fight that you did. No. Who cares, man? I can't control that today. Dude, enjoy this. Enjoy you guys. Enjoy doing open workouts. Enjoy the fans. That's what I'm here for. And uh, No. No. Here's the thing is that it's a fight. You know what I mean? I can't control today what happened Saturday. I can't control tomorrow or the next day. The only thing I can control is losing weight, right? So I got to lose the weight. That's stage two of my life. Stage three is get that belt. You know what I mean? And, and Saturday I'll start thinking about it, start worrying about it. But, you know, right now there's nothing I can do. Enjoy life. Have fun. How about that weight cut? Uh, you've been working with Dolce. You said you dropped like 45 pounds in six weeks. Uh, is that normal? Is that what you Yeah, that's, that's you. I, I normally walk around at 220. Uh, Dolce gets me down. Right now, this morning, I woke up at 184. So I've already lost a ton of weight, and I feel great. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm still drinking two gallons of water a day. I feel awesome. Uh, and, you know, yeah, so the weight cut has been better. I'm five pounds ahead of schedule any other fight. When did you arrive in like this? And did you add a chance to train in the actual octagon? Uh, I, I, I don't, hey, I own a 32-foot octagon. I don't, I didn't have to come here. You know what I mean? GSB got his words mixed up or got his facts mixed up like he always does. But uh, <laughs> he, I, I, I bought one two and a half years ago. Okay, I've been training in a, in a full size size octagon the exact specs for the last two and a half years I didn't have to come to Vegas for that you know what was different in your training like you said that mentally it's not different than the previous fight but in the training <laughs> training for five rounds training for George St. Pierre uh, I don't worry about George St. Pierre it's a name everybody all you guys gave him the the haven't been beaten but once in the last six years well guess what so have I you know what I mean I'm 15 and 1 uh, you guys said that he's the most most amazing fighter ever, which he has been, but has he fought me? You know what I'm saying? All all that stuff is in the past. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, it, it, the 20th anniversary, I'm looking at it as a new chapter, not only champion, but of my life. He brought uh, Rick Story into his training, the only one who beat you. Um, do you feel that uh, you're the same? as when uh, Rick beat you two years ago. No, no, yeah, do you, no. Do you hit harder than two years ago? Oh, I hit so much harder than I did two years ago. I was so much faster than I was two or three years ago. Uh, my weight's under control, for one. I used to do horrible weight cuts back then. Uh, it almost freaking killed me. I thought about going 185 because it was so hard. Um, and then all of a sudden I got Dolce and my life has been, that was a chink in my arm, kink in my arm, excuse me. Uh, and once I got him, I man, I've been feeling great. I've been going out there uh, the best I could and I've looked the best. I mean, the last six fights, you know what I mean, have been unbelievable. So uh, it is what it is. And Rick's story, you know, hey, I'm glad that he went out there and trained with him, but you know, he, he's, he's not even close to the type of fighter that I am. Has it been, sorry, has it been frustrating having to wait so long for this fight? Good things come to those who wait. That's all I got to say. You know, I, yeah, it was frustrating, but, you know, I, I prayed about it. And, you know, it felt like I needed another fight. I felt like God wanted me to. And, man, I got Condit. And he's just, he's, I think Condit's more dangerous than GSP. GSP, we know what he's going to do. Jab, 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 take down. Jab, 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 take down. You want to keep going? Jab, 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 take down. No, I just play. But uh, that's, you know, that's that's GSP. That's what we've grown to know. If he tries to stand and bang, I'm going to love it. That's what Condit would do. Because Condit, he's got dangerous knees, dangerous kicks. He's very dangerous off his back. Uh, and so I think that fight really grew me, groomed me and made my confidence grow for this fight. How important is it for you to disrupt GSP's momentum right from the start of the fight? I don't I, I, I don't care about the first round. First round, I'm not worried about. Uh, it's everyone after that I'm worried about. Uh, I don't care because realistically, my pride and my, my competitor wants him to get off, wants 
trust him to do everything he wants to do and let me crush it. You talked to me about your right hand and getting that strength also up to the same amount of power that you have in your left. How has that gone through this camp? Great. Uh, I, 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 hit, I hit those little power meter bag things and I'm hitting just as hard with my right as I am my left. Uh, and, it's, and it's quicker than my left because it's a shorter movement. So uh, watch out. There are rumors of retirement from GSP. If it beats you, uh, they say you won't have any more challenges. Um, does that motivate you more that you don't want to be the last fighter that should be stuff like that? Who cares? Man, I, like I said, that's his mind, not mine. I don't, I, you know, if he wants to retire, I'll gladly send him packing without the belt. You know what I mean? That's the way I'm looking at this. If he doesn't want to retire, then cool. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like they're it's it's like all mind games oh you're on steroids oh you're on this or oh i, I might be retiring oh this you it, like that? huh you like that <coughs> oh yeah yeah because here's the thing is uh, like I said before, he picked the wrong guy. He picked the wrong guy to do a drug test. Why didn't he do a drug test six years ago? Huh? Six fights? Six, the last six fights? For the last six years, he hadn't done one. Why won't you do it now? Why won't I do it? Because he's on Vada. Vada, his, his, his face is all over the front page. You do, you do and, it for everybody. Huh? You do it for everybody. Do everybody who they can push. If me and you are going... Hey, if me and you are... Hey, right, right, right. Wait, wait. Me and you are going for a job interview. This <laughs> job interview is going to pay millions of dollars and I say I got a somebody that's going to drug test us are you going to go to it if you do you're more but why not but that was proven from no 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 hey water water no 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 UFC athletic or the athletic state commission of Nevada said don't do what vada they said don't do vada and you trust more I tr and SEC with all the uh, heck yeah hey are you going to trust your, are you are you going to are you going to trust like your opponent or are you going to trust the Nevada State Commission that doesn't care? You, you answer that. Which one would you rather trust? I, personally, I trust Vada because they, they've done it <laughs> a long time. So. Hey, you're Canadian, that's why. Okay. <laughs> no, here's the thing is that I'm not going to lay my life into his hands. I said WADA. WADA is so much tougher to, to pass, and they don't do just random drug tests where he randomly gets drug tested the first time the camera's around. You know what I'm saying? No. Vada, Vada, or Wada, you have to have your schedule for three to four months, and they have to, they know exactly where you're at. And if you don't show up within an hour of when they call you, you fail. Okay? And then if any changes, you got to give them a three day notice before any changes. Okay? So, so that's so much harder to pass, and they test for stuff. They test for stuff that Vada doesn't. So you're, everybody's argument is, hey, Actually, I, I watch I watch the whole list. They test the, the same things, the same products. So, are, are you saying that they don't. even even they if, don't. even if GSP passes, they don't. passes I, I don't care if he passes. He's, he's, I don't. I don't. I didn't care if he took the drug test. I want him to be the best GSP he can be. And if that's on something, that's on something. If it's not, it's not. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sweating. Later tomorrow. Thank you. Do, do you think he is on something? Or no, was on I don't something? care, dude. Yeah, well, here's the thing. There's a difference. Well, between. yeah. They, have you seen him in the last two months? He shrank a little bit, hadn't he? Huh? 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 No, I don't know. Like realistically, I don't know. I haven't seen the guy. Okay, I saw him on the press tour. You know what I mean? The only thing I know is that whenever I step into the octagon, do I still have a six pack? Check out my pictures. I'm fat. You know what I mean? But I love it. I love it. I'm a fat dude. You know what I mean? Like, and here's the thing is that he's all, you know, nobody gains 15 pounds. Because, you know, I'm pretty shredded at 170. You know, let's be honest. I have very little body fat. I look good right now at 184, right? I look pretty strong, pretty jacked. But whenever I step in that octagon, I was looking at a picture with Conda. I was like, dude, you're fat. You know what I mean? You can't see the bottom two abs. You know? And how much and, you wait? Huh? How much you wait when you step? Uh, well, I'll step in the octagon around 200, 195, 200. And that's the thing is that you know you don't gain 20 pounds, 15, 20 pounds, and still keep that form. Everybody bloats a little bit. You don't put 20 pounds of water in your system without bloating. You know what I mean? So, like I said, I don't give a crap what he's on. I just need him to step in that octagon November 16th. You seem to uh, you don't have much respect for. 
Well, here's as an, well, as an well, athlete. Do, well, do you, well, what I don't have respect for is him saying that I'm on steroids when he knows nothing about me. Has anybody accused me of steroids? No. Has anybody accused me of being on growth? Hell no! You, oh, it, it's 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 as tough as water. Yeah, you can't take steroids in, in college. You can't take steroids. If you do, you get busted. Boom! You get one strike. I've been clean my whole entire life. Okay. And here, all of a sudden, some dude doesn't know me. He's been accused the last six years of being on something. He picks me and says, I must be on something because I don't want to follow the pony train to Vada. You know what I mean? You Get out of here. All the NSEC testing after the after his oh, fight, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Tested, so. Well, that's, that's what I'm trying to what say. What does it mean? I don't care. That's why I said from the very get-go. Who gives a crap? If he's on something, he's on something. If he's not, dude, I, I will never accuse somebody. Here's the thing. If he needs that to beat me, I got beat by the drug. You know what I mean? I don't need drugs to win. I've proven that. You know what I mean? And, and why? If I can't be champ without him, I'll never revert to drugs to be champ. Do you feel other opponents of GSP respected him too much and it's obviously not your case so he's going to play to your advantage? Uh, it might. I don't know. I think it's this that's going to play to my advantage. You know, I can't wait to freaking deck the crap out of him. You know, I want his eyes to roll back in his head. That's my goal. You know what I mean? And that's my goal for every fight is to hit him as hard as I can. I think, uh, I, think I, I know I'll land. Some people said maybe if the fight goes to a fourth and fifth round, it could go to the advantage of GSP, like Carlos Khan did say that too. What do you think about that? Uh, I think the reason why Carlos Khan is saying that is because yeah, I did fight him and I fought a lot of guys. But what do I have to do to win a three-round fight? I have to win two out of three rounds, right? Yeah. Well, to win a five-round fight, what do I got to do? Three out of five. So that's the difference is that I, I instead of – Pushing the case so hard, where I, I where I, I, you know, what I do is I push the pace so hard that yeah, I'm tired. But Carlos Condit was tired. Uh, you can go down the list. Everybody that I fought that went to the third round with, that we went to a decision, they're gassed just like I am, and they've all went for the title, right? And so they know what it's like to be in a fight. Uh, I don't know what it's like to be in a five-round fight, but I do know that. In the last couple of my fights, I know I can. I just have to be smarter with it. Instead of throwing a kill shot every shot 150 times, I need to, I need to place it better and pick better, pick better spots to explode. Johnny, uh, lots of fighters admit that they feel fear on the days before, before a fight. Do, do you? No. I, I, like, I, like, I do have the fear of losing. That's it. I don't fear a man. Anybody can be beaten at any given moment. You know, uh, I can be beaten today. I can be beaten tomorrow. There's always somebody bigger and better than you. You know, that's the way I was always raised. Um, and just not this time. <laughs> and what about your family? I think your, your girls are a big motivation for you. Oh, my, my girls mean everything. This belt is going to be for them. Uh, once I win that belt, good Lord willing, I'm going to take it over to them. I'm going to get on my knees and say, this is y'all's three. You know, that's, that's why I, I did what I did and so forth. You know what I mean? And, 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 and that's, that's the desire and the drive that I have. Um, they've always been my motivation ever since they were born, uh, and they'll continue to be that. And we sent you that photo of the 12-story uh, uh, mural of you and GSP in Los Angeles. H how, does, like, how does your family interpret that, seeing uh, all the uh, they haven't got in. They haven't got in yet. They get in tomorrow. Uh, my family has, but they've seen it on Twitter. Uh, they're pretty amazed. You know, my wife's like, wow, <laughs> you know, uh, because this is the first time we've done something like this. We've headlined a card, and, you know, for it being the 20th anniversary is pretty sweet. You know, um, I feel very honored and very humbled by it uh, that they chose me and GSP for this fight. Uh, it, it stands to, that there might be a change in tides. Uh, Johnny, you wait a long time for this fight. Uh, if it's you or George, it doesn't matter. Who do you think will be the next number one challenger after that? Who do you uh, think deserves to be the number one challenger? Is it the winner of the fight of McDonald Lawler or another guy? Who cares? No, I know, but... I, I mean, have you, the belt. They yeah, come to me. But you, wait, you, you know wait a long time because you wait for the champion. So who do you think, if you're a champion... I wouldn't care. You know what I mean? I got to clean out the division one way or another, right? Yeah. 
So uh, let's let's start from the top, knock them down, and then uh, see what what the world has to offer me at that point. You know, I am a big 170 pounder. If I, you know, I, I guess I just got to fight two or three guys, and I've cleaned out the division. You know what I mean? Because I had to clean it out to get up here, because um, <laughs> somebody wouldn't fight me. So do, do it three or four times, and then good Lord willing, let's see what 85 has to offer. You know, you're you're about to fight, so I assume that this might be a little natural, but. It sounds like you kind of have grown to not like George over this process. Well, no, just today because uh, the guy said uh, the guy told Ariel Hawani that he goes, I I have been tested three times, which one was randomly on camera again, uh, and I have not. You read between the lines. That's what he said. They're mind games, so I'm giving you guys what he wants. You know what I mean, I can sit here, I can rat on him all day long and not affect me inside. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what he says. You know what I mean? Who cares, man? It's all talk. Uh, I know I'm not on steroids. I know I'm not on anything. Like I said, I would sign WADA. They would come and test me. Nevada State Commission said, hey, we need you to be tested today in the next hour. Guess who would be the first one there and guess who wouldn't? This guy would be there. I wouldn't have a problem with it. I'd be like, who? Where? Where? I'll be there now because I got to pee. But, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? And you don't think he would? I don't know if he would. You know, it, it, here's the thing is that they don't test for certain things. Even though people say they do, Canadian, <laughs> but th they don't. And if you look it up, they don't. And, and like I said, Nevada State Commission had good rapport with WADA. That's why we chose WADA. And then all of a sudden, a week later, they, they freaking come out there and stab me in the back. Sorry, turd. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. But you said, you, you said you're, up, you're upset at him for what he said about maybe suggesting you're on something. I, haven't you just done this to him? Said the same to him? No, I said I didn't care. Okay? I didn't care. So that's not saying if he's on something. I said if he's on something, continue to do it. If he's not, then what's the big deal? Why, okay, what I said is, why choose, you're about to retire, he knows that. The last six years, he's been accused, right? Right? He's been accused, right? But what does that mean? Well, 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 here's the thing, it's, it's accusations, right? But word of mouth is very powerful. You know that, I know that. And if I sat there and I know that I got... Like, for example, if I win this belt, I'd, I'll definitely go to WADA, okay? Because, hell, I can afford it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can afford to go, and I'll prove to the world. I don't, you know, I don't need drugs. And, and what I said is that if we're going to drug test, let's do the hardest, toughest drug testing out there. That's WADA, okay? And in WADA, they do everything, and they hold your samples for 12 years. And if any new testing comes out, in that testing, they retest it. And, and if you fail, then you, obviously you're dirty. Because there's also, you know, science does, has to catch up to the drugs because there's always ways to beat the drug, right? But what I'm trying to say is, who cares? If, if, if you want to be on it, be on it. If you don't, who cares? Don't try to drag my name through the mud because the last six years you're too scared to do it. He should have done it right after somebody accuses me. I win the belt. I have the money. I'll piss. Because, I, like I said, I can afford it. You are know you, what I mean? Are you glad he kind of dropped that bomb That's today? it, guys. Last one. <laughs> Am I glad that he dropped that bomb? Did it kind of give you a little... Oh, yeah. It gives me a lot of motivation. Because, you know, here's the thing. Is that he's, he, he's trying to play mind games. He's trying to get me angered. The only thing is, it's going to make me hit him that much harder. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thanks, Jack. Later. Thank you.